channel or welcome back clairvoyant I am because I am clairvoyant you guys I have got some pretty disturbing things to talk about today um, and I really don't like to do too many videos like this but I feel like you know if the Lord's gonna give me his word then I'm gonna have to follow his word because I'm on his path and I'm on his time and I really don't like to come on here and be like the bearer of bad news or anything but um I've got some pretty disturbing things to talk about okay so please just bear with me I'm gonna try to get through it I've asked the Holy Spirit to please lead God and direct me and and getting this word out to you guys okay so um I, I had some pretty disturbing visions today um, I've been seeing blackbirds all day and um, <laughs> I got on the internet and looked up a few things about that and uh, it led me to omens and uh, witchcraft and sorcery and things like that so I went into my prayer closet and I asked the Lord for guidance and to give me a verse on this and he did and it is Isaiah 54 17 no weapon formed against you will prosper okay so um, he also gave me another vision, you guys, and I am an intuitive, and my visions come in like ocean waves. They go in and right back out, in and right back out, just like the ocean does, okay? And, um, so I had to jot down a lot of notes, and I don't know who this is going to, but he's shown me that this is going to out to uh, quite a few of you guys, okay? So, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but... Please just bear with me, okay? Um, I'm about to expose some hidden truths. And uh, they are going to be revealed to you. And they're going to be exposed, okay? Um, God has his hands over your life, though. So don't ever forget that. And don't ever doubt him, okay? Because he absolutely has you completely protected. But um, whoever your enemies are, um, they want you stuck. They want you trapped. They are wishing ill will towards you. And um, they do not want to see you prosper, okay? They they have an agenda against you. and um, But you're still moving forward. You're still moving forward, okay? You've got your um, hand, like just like um, the game of Wheel of Fortune. You know, the big Wheel of Fortune. Every time you spin that wheel... <laughs> Your will lands on your fortune, okay? So, these people are trying to do um, sorcery or black magic on you and trying to stop your fortune. Um, they have a jealous, envious heart on you, and these people are very evil, okay? The Lord has exposed that these people, you have known these people your whole life. Um, now, when I say that, I'm not exactly sure if I'm talking to, like, about your family. So, please, oh, God, please, guys, don't, don't hate me. I am just the messenger. Please don't shoot the messenger, okay? But, again, the devil don't own the duct tape. And I'm here to reveal all and, um lead you down the right path, okay, and let you become aware of these things, okay, so I'm not trying to uh, talk about anybody's family or anything, so, but when I say that, um, these people have known you your whole life, okay, these people have known you your entire life, so I don't know if it's like a babysitter figure or not, but these people are very close to you, very close to your family, they still, um, Know, know you to this day, and, um, wow, it's just incredible what the Lord's revealed to me, okay, so, um, someone tried to steal you, uh, like your, steal, um, steal fortune from you, um, still kind of, not snatch your soul or anything, I'm not saying that, but they have, uh, realized that you're going to prosper in life, and they just don't like it, okay? I don't know who exactly I'm talking to, but these people actually went and um, tried to do this. They've been doing this for a long time. They've been doing this since you were little, okay? And your enemies see that um, you're just not going to take it, you know? 
you're just not going to accept it and they they can't stand it they're very envious very jealous of you um they can't stand that you have good fortune um somebody is in great sorrow over this too by the way somebody is uh very depressed very angry over this um they're um in their alone place you know um they're just full of sorrow and full of hate and jealousy and envy. Oh, my goodness. Lord, please get me through this. <laughs> I don't know who this is about, but it's so sad. And But I have to get this message out, you guys, okay? Um, I want to tell you that um, your, enemy or your enemies are up to no good. Um, I see three people that are involved in this, okay? And this is someone, like I said, you've known since you were a child, okay? And they are all doing this. Um, they want to steal from you. Um, they want to steal your magic, steal your fortune, um, steal your joy. <laughs> and God's stepping in, and His intervention is so perfect. And But He wants you to become aware of this. And... It just makes me so nervous to even talk about these things, you guys. I'm having a hard time even uh, talking to y'all about this, but I have to obey him. I have to get this out, okay? And I have made some notes here. Um, this person may be using spells on you right now. Um, definitely money spells on you. So you need to become aware of that. And you need to pray and um, get back into your prayer life. God wants you to realize that you, you need him more than ever. So please remember that. Um, you do know this person and you've known this person as a child, okay? Um, their plans and evil plots are not working though, okay? But you still need to get back into your prayer life, back into God's word and ask him for guidance, especially over your finances, over your money, uh, the new money that's coming in to you also. You need to um, make sure that um, you put your blessings where they're supposed to be, okay? Um, pray f for your food. Pray over your food and everything. Just, um, you know, God is giving you the resources to go buy your food. And um, so we need to pray over it. Because sometimes people can use negative energies even when they plant and harvest. And, you know, those negative energies can even be attached to that food. Believe it or not, that is, so, you know, you reap what you sow. So, if you're not a spiritualist or you don't understand all that or you don't dive deep, um, I'm here to just remind you so I can just clarify a few things for you and just be a little reminder for you in your life, in your daily prayer life also, okay? Um, this enemy of yours is, um, okay, you're um, like trapped in their head. They're like in a prison in their head, okay? They're not in prison. I didn't mean it like that, but... Um, you know, they're like, got you like trapped in their head. They, they can't stop thinking about it. They can't stop. They're just dwelling on it, okay? Their energies are all going towards you and, and your fortune, okay? And um, they, they don't understand why. And, and you don't either. You're like, what? what? What is she talking about? But this is not my word, you guys. This is exactly what the Lord wanted me to reveal today. So I'm here to reveal it. I'm here to drop some truth bombs on y'all, okay? Um, they want you stagnated. Your enemies want you stagnated. Just like the devil wants you stuck or trapped. He doesn't want you to move forward, but you are anyway. Okay, so these money spells, these magic spells, this black magic, it's not working. And so, because, um, you know, <laughs> no weapon formed against you are, is going to prosper, okay? So, um, this is someone that you love and you care about also, okay? But they are being revealed, okay? So, I'm hoping that you pray about this and the Lord take it back and confirm it with Him. And He'll reveal it. He'll reveal who these, these people are because they are extremely evil, and I know a lot of people don't want to believe that people are evil or can have evil in their hearts, but they absolutely can. 
Um, okay, the Lord revealed that there is up to three people doing this, okay, or feeling this way about you and about your uh, fortune. And every time you spend that wheel of fortune, it lands in your favor, and they just, they can't stand it, okay? So he wanted me to reveal there is three people, okay, that's doing this to you. And, um, okay, so they definitely are from your childhood also. I think I've mentioned that, but I had that wrote down, you guys. Um, but this is about your money. It's not exactly about you. It's just about your fortune, okay? So, um, even though <laughs> these people are, are envious of you, it's really honestly about your fortune, and the Lord had made that really clear to me, that it's not really about you, it's about the fortune that um, you um, either had as a child, or received, or you did receive already, or your money coming in, or your money flowing in and out, I don't really know exactly um, what exactly that means, but I know that you will, I know that you will. Um, they are just, they're all about your money, and they're envious and jealous over your money. It really has nothing to do with you. Just, the devil's planted that seed in there, okay? And, um, so, I'm just bringing it to your awareness. But your enemies are sneaky, they're liars, and they're backstabbers also. And, uh, like I said, they're focused on your money. Not exactly you, but your money. They want it took from you. They want, they want you, um back in this dark place, you know, they didn't want you to succeed, <laughs> they, um, that's so strange, um, they didn't want you to succeed, um, that's so much hate, so much hate towards somebody, wow, but, um, God is saying that they will have judgment, and judgment will be on their heads, he did say that to me, now, so I jotted that down, you guys, this is why I have to take notes sometimes, because, like I said, it comes in like a wave and goes right back out, like just like the ocean works. So, um, I have to stop and, you know, jot things down. So, but, um, um, you may know who exactly I'm speaking about. Um, this person uh, may have raised you as a child. Um, it could even be like a babysitter image figure. Um, or like someone you looked up to, like you thought they were like your family and it really wasn't your family, but they were really close to you, like a family member. It could be somebody like that. Um, I'm not really sure, but you, only you can know and figure out with the Lord's help. Just ask him, like I said, just ask him to lead and guide you and he absolutely will. He'll reveal it. He'll reveal your enemies to you. Um, you have turned your back on them, and now they are hateful and jealous even more. So, like I said in previous, you know who I'm speaking of, I guess. But, um, you guys, this, I can't make this stuff up. This is just unbelievable. Um, God has full control over this situation, though. He wants you to be aware. Your enemies cannot sleep at night. Um, your enemies even consulted with others to try to stop your fortune. Um, but God removed you from that. He, um, he did not allow that to happen. So, apparently, they must have went to, like, a practitioner or somebody that practiced, like, a witch doctor or somebody that practices, um, sorcery or whatever. But these people, oh my goodness... They have paid to stop your fortune. They have spent their fortune to stop your fortune. <laughs> that just doesn't even make sense to me, but, um, wow. So, they're losing a fortune, and you're not losing anything. So, <laughs> God wanted you to know that. He wants me to reveal this to you, and I'm... I'm just, I'm kind of in, in shock, really, you guys, over this. I mean, this is really hard for me to talk about. I don't know why, but um, maybe it's because I, I feel like somebody's going to try to pass judgment on me. But it's okay. It's okay, because I'm just the messenger. And you can shoot the messenger. That's fine if you want to shoot the messenger. But he wants me to reveal this to you. And 
I know that this is going to reach you because he has really laid it on my heart, you guys, to talk about this today. And even though I really didn't want to and I've been hesitant about it um, and kind of nervous, to be honest about it, he wants me to come on here and reveal to you. So here I am, okay? So um, someone went, like I said, to a practitioner or a spellcaster or somebody that knows how to spell, uh, cast spells, um, but uh, it's not working. These people um, are your enemies, number one. Like I said, there's at least three people, up to three people involved, and um, they are sending their for fortune to a stop. <laughs> yeah, they're sending their fortune to a stop. So, oh, praise the Lord, hallelujah. And they are peeking and spying on you. They are still doing this. They're, they're wanting to see you fall. So they're waiting on it. They're, they're like, why is this not working? Why is my, you know, this spell not working? You know, uh, it's not going to, okay? The Lord's intervention is uh, incredible. And no, these people, oh goodness. Um, they want to reconcile with you, but you are saying no, no reunion. I'm not having it. And the Lord's not going to have it. He is not. He's stepping in and saying, no, you're not going to um, reunite with these people. These these are your enemies, and he's going to keep them at bay, keep them away, okay? So, um, your enemies have been doing this for a long time, but God is protecting you. This is a lot of hate that your enemies have for you. Um, but you have your back against these people, so... Um, they are grieving in their own sorrow, okay? Because they, they can't get to you, you know? And they, they understand you've got a hedge of protection or, around you. Somebody has absolutely prayed that prayer for you. And, you know, our prayers last forever. Even if we're past and gone, our prayers st still continue. They continue on. So, um, God's going to expose them or God has exposed them, okay? So he wants you to become aware that um, he's absolutely exposed your enemies or he's about to or he's going to or he is asking you to go into your prayer closet and ask him and just, and just pray about it and say, God, please reveal these people to me. I need to know who they are. I, I need to make sure that I do stay away from these people. Because these people have uh, ill will towards you. and <laughs> But it's okay because uh, no witchcraft form against you will prosper. Okay? And like I said, this is a family member or a family type. I hate to say it. But God absolutely revealed that to me. And, you know, we don't want to think of any of our family being like this. You know, but <laughs> this stuff is real. And the Bible talks about it. That it is real. So, I just can't believe that somebody would go and um, try to uh, spend a, their fortune to stop, try to stop your fortune. See, the devil's trying to shut me up, shut me down, trying to make me stumble over my words. And I'm just, I'm here to just tell you guys, I love you guys so much. And um, I'm asking you right now, cut the cords, cut the cords with these people. Cut that umbilical cord, you know? You, they're not your life force. God's your only life force that you ever need. So, um, I just wanted to get this message out today, you guys. Um, I really hate talking about this stuff like this, but this stuff is real. And if you don't believe that it's real, go to your Bible. There's many, many scripture about witchcraft and sorcery, okay? So, you need to... Um, let yourself become aware of this, okay? And uh, these people just, oh my goodness, they wish so many bad things, so much hate in their heart on you and on your wheel of fortune, okay? It's okay. You keep spinning that wheel of fortune, okay? Because the devil ain't going to stop it and, and say, uh-uh, bankrupt, mm -mm, ain't going to happen. No, you've got God on your side and he's here to uh, intervene. And he's, he's stepping in. And uh, I'm letting you become aware of this. And if you find it in your heart 
to um, please subscribe to me. Please subscribe to me. Hit the bell icon so you will get notified every time that I upload. Hit the like. Hit the share if somebody needs to hear this message. Um, please send it out to them. And um, I'm just here to uh, clear things up for you guys and um, make sure that your life is a bit brighter. And I love you all so much. Until next time.